Hello, I'm Dr. Larry Brown. I'm a child neurologist for the last 40 years and has been honored to be the uh, past president of the Child Neurology Foundation. I wanted to discuss briefly uh, my own experience in the last uh, months with the uh, COVID-19 crisis. Uh, it was in mid-March when I walked out of the hospital, uh, when our governor announced the first cases in the area, and I have been in quarantine uh, ever since. It's been guilt and envy, guilt that I could not participate uh, due to age and uh, envy that I uh, have uh, been unable to uh, participate uh, with the dedication and the heroism uh, that my younger colleagues have been uh, facing. But fortunately, and I want to discuss this, that uh, advances in technology, uh, the public interest that convinced insurance companies um, to uh, allow it, and the combined forces of our hospital's administration and IT department have allowed me to uh, continue to do my work and to treat patients from home um, with video and by telephone. Now, of course, these uh, encounters aren't easy or ideal. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but it just doesn't replace uh, the ability to see the back of the eye uh, or, in fact, the emotional impact of uh, the physical encounter. But as uh, you don't really need to uh, hold on to the newspaper uh, in the morning to uh, get a sense of uh, what's going on in the world, um, the visits that I've had have been just as real and uh, just as uh, meaningful. What I really wanted to say was that in my anecdotal experience in the last six weeks, almost all of the patients that I've been dealing with uh, and their families are adjusting, and I think even thriving uh, at this time. What I really want to say is that there's a reason that humans have become the dominant animal species throughout our planet Earth. Why? Because we are infinitely adaptable, and with a little optimism and ingenuity, we can make the most of an otherwise limiting, challenging, and otherwise depressing time. I believe that the frontline providers really are our true heroes, but let's not forget, so too are the patients and their families. And with that, I wish you uh, well, I wish you health, and I wish that we will all get out of this safely. Be well.